Team CV, Victor here with Celebrated Victories, giving you guys another video. And in today's video, what I'm gonna talk about is gonna be how the ATM business is my life insurance policy. Stay tuned. Now, before I get started, I got a phone call yesterday from one of my locations. The owner called me, told me that the ATM isn't working properly. So I'm actually on my way over there now to go see what's up with it, figure out what's going on, fix it. That way we can get it up and running. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Following that, I'm gonna talk about my life insurance policy. I'm here at the laundromat, I just got here. And uh, for whatever reason, the ATM isn't working properly according to them. If you guys ever run into an issue where your ATM isn't working or you find that the, the employees or the owner is calling you, letting you know it's not working properly, the first thing you want to do is let them know to unplug it and then plug it back in. What that does, that reboots this whole system entirely to include um, your internet modem. You, I would unplug that too, but if you guys are putting your internet modem um, you know, attaching it to the ATM because you could do that on the inside of it. Then, if you just unplug the ATM, the internet modem is going to be unplugged as well, and that reboots everything. That's going to be your first solution or your first thing to do in order to try to see if you can rectify whatever issue you're having. If not, you may have to get in front of the ATM. I'm going to show you guys some things right now. So let's go. All right. First thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my journal. From there, I'm going to go to View Journal. From there, I'm going to go to Previous. And this is gonna show me the individuals that, that have been using it and what issues they've been having. So this person, it looks like they withdrew um, 20 bucks. Okay, and it worked. I'm gonna go back and service. And service. All, right. All right, this one got a D0111 code. Go back, D0111 code. So I'm just leaving the laundromat right now and I'm getting a D0111 error code and I had this error code before on another ATM and what I did to fix this issue was I just replaced the um, the card reader so this is a newer ATM so there's a warranty on it I'm sure there's not gonna be an issue with just getting uh, having the company just re um, send me a new card reader and then reinstall it super super simple All I got to do is open up the ATM you know take the screws out there's four screws take the card reader out unplug it plug the new one back in screw it back in it's real real simple it takes less than five minutes to do all right so that's what that looks like now with the title of this video all right my life insurance the atm business is my life insurance policy as of now um that doesn't mean that i don't have life insurance i do everyone should have life, life insurance especially if you have a family okay um but what i'm going to talk about with the atm business is one reason I can sleep well at night is because I do have it. I have the comfort of owning this business. I have the comfort of it making money. I have the comfort of it making me enough money to pay my bills. Now, if something were to happen to me, God forbid, you know, I get in a car accident, you know, I die, something happens, right? Something tragic happens, I'm not here anymore. But guess what? I still have my wife, I still have my two sons, and I have other family members as well. The thing with the ATM business is if that happens, I don't have to worry about you know how my wife is going to make money how my my kids are going to eat because they have the atm business i have it it's established it's making money it's making enough money for us to live off of right so that's a, that's a concern that i always really much i really had and anyone that has a family is going to have those concerns like hey if i'm not here what happens that's why we have life insurance so i encourage y'all to have to get life insurance if you don't have it already but even for life insurance that's eventually going to run out okay that's only going to last so long with the ATM business, this is monthly income that I'm getting, getting every single month. And guess what? For those people that say, hey, well, the ATM business is going to go away. They got more than enough. If I die right now, my family, my kids, my wife, they have more than enough time to figure it out and get everything squared away and do what they need to do. But until then, until the ATM business doesn't work anymore, which I do not see it happening. They've been saying this for the last 20 years and people are making thousands and thousands of dollars a month off of the ATM, off their ATMs. All right, as long as you're doing it right, you're hustling, grinding, you're working, you guys will be okay. All that to say, that's my insurance policy. I can go to sleep at night and be like, yo, if something bad happens to me tomorrow where I can't walk, I can't do things, my family's gonna be okay. I, they don't need to learn a brand new skill. My dog training is a little bit different because they need to learn how to train dogs. But with this, they can log into the course and go step by step and figure out exactly what they need to do. And I teach them this stuff as it is, but they can literally go into my course that I've created, watch a video, oh, how to fill up an ATM, boom. 
how to fill it up. Oh, I'm having an issue, who to call? And all that stuff is in there, so they already have access to that and they know that, right? So that's my insurance policy and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video because it does give me that comfort. A lot of people can't really say that, um, you know, if they have, you know, running a business and something happens, usually the, the owner of that business is the one that knows that business in and out. The family doesn't know too much of it. So with that, if something were to happen, you know, they would, that family needs to learn how to do things, you know, on the fly and keep things running. I just want to share that with you guys because it really does mean a lot for me to be able to like, you know, have something for my family if something were to happen to me. And you should be thinking about stuff like that too, especially if you guys have families. And with the ATM business, it's one of those things that it's real easy to do, real easy to operate. Um, you know, it's really easy to learn and they can do that stuff and still make money as they need to uh, whenever I'm not around to do those things. So if you need help with the ATM business, hit me up, click the link below to determine whether my ATM course is open, whether it's closed, if you gotta get on the waiting list or whatever the case is, depending on when you watch this video. I hope this video is helpful. I hope it makes sense. Stay up, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you guys with another one later.